There we go. <laughs> Look out everyone, they're back. They're back. Love and hate of the Bob and Bob's boys are coming in for a brand new episode. Join Dakota and Chris on Saturdays and Sundays for in-depth discussions on World Among Us and Beyond. Exciting development in this journey with amazing guests and stories that will make anyone crazy and hairless. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have lost our co-host. He just disappeared. Do you see that there, Neil? He just disappeared. Oh, there he is. We can't, we can't hear you. <laughs> his cat has been nibbling the wire. That's his excuse. It's not an excuse, fucker. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen we are joined tonight by saw's lost souls neil how hey. are you tonight this this will be your second good. interview this will be the second time you've been interviewed is it no yeah. i met you the first time i met you was on emerald isles paranormal researchers oh, oh lulu if you're in the show, the show then, yeah <laughs> drink, take a shot you, you said it <laughs> That's yeah right. but- I'm not used to this. I'm not used to these interviews. Oh, you know, you become a regular by the end of the done, night. You're I mean, good. It's all new to me. How many shows have you done? Now? About four hundred more. More. Wow, four hundred. Jesus. Yeah, we really, yeah, took quite a few. Yeah, we're getting up there. Different shows. That's class, man. Yeah. Yeah. There's That's quite class. a bit of echo back tonight, isn't there? Yeah, I think it's on Neil's end. Am I echoing? one? Neil, you don't have a pair of head. I do. You have a pair of headphones or anything like that. Um, yeah, I actually have the AirPods. They work. Maybe. Yeah. I don't find they should work. They, they, should? they, they, they should work, man. Yeah, they should you work. got them charged. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to welcome everybody in the chat. We've got Simply Alan Show. It's good to see you, Alan. Uh, we've got Stephanie. There you go. I said your name right again there. I mean, they used to call you. What was that I used to call Stephanie? Stephen. Uh, uh, we have Dots. He's sitting there with a big cup of tea. We have, uh, oh, what's that guy doing? Don't there? try. I don't, I don't know. That's a new one. E-I-T-A-420-X. Why do you have to choose difficult reading names with people like me? Can't understand. I know, what is that Elon's kid? <laughs> it makes me wonder, you know. If you're Elon Musk, kid, drop his ten million dollars in the chat. Exactly right. Oh, Neil, can you hear us? There I go. I can hear you. Can me. you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but you've kind of like froze. Oh. Oh, your screen's just like the webcam dropped. Oh. Yeah, no, it's on my phone, so it's changed for some reason. Ah, uh, no, it's the spirits, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, we're fine. We'll no, get the I, was, exorcist I was using this, as, I was using this as the webcam because it's better quality. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what's happened, it's went out. <laughs> Can you, I'm all right there, I can't all right, you, That's... you look all right. Hey Lawrence, it's good to see you, my friend. That's actually it's it's much better. Your camera's actually quite good. Um it, it makes you oh, wonder because sometimes spirits can actually interfere with your technology because we we ha- it happens to Dakota quite a lot. And sometimes happens to me. Wow. I think the Mac the, the phone definitely looks hundred times better, like I think. It, but it probably does. Not too bad, is it? There's, there's no one echo anymore. So you <laughs> uh, from Lost Souls, I don't know. What, I mean, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all? Yeah, two seconds. It's falling over. There we go. Sorry. Um, That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm Souls, Lost Souls. Um, doing YouTube for the last year or so. Um, paranormal. Mm-hmm. And um, just 
traveling about Northern Ireland at the minute and Ireland, but I have a lot of big trips planned this year. Um, yeah. So the channel hopefully will be expanding, hopefully, and uh, we'll get some mad locations under my belt. Fingers crossed. Well, I must. Uh, well, I must say I have been watching your some of your videos, and some of them are really interesting places that you go. To. The the forest was interesting place that you went to the other day. You were all marching about and that. I turned to it and I was like, "What? What are you up to?" And then I read the title, obviously, and I said he's marching about. But how did how did you get into this kind of stuff? And tell us, do tell us about your car. We'll keep that for after. But how did you get into this kind of stuff? <laughs> um, when I was eight years old, um, my mom and dad lived like just one street away from my nanny, and he was always up and down the road. So I was coming down the road one day, and I happened to look into this house, and I was lying empty. And I knew mm-hmm. there used to be an old couple with a load of dogs um, mm-hmm. lived there. And I looked up the stairs and there was a like a, a boy in like greyish blue mm-hmm. looking out the blinds, mm-hmm. just staring at me. I didn't go up the street for like two years after that. I took the long way home and um, that's just sparked my interest since then, basically. So I've been at it for like, I think, got to 20 years. So, mm. Wow. I mean... That's a long time to be in the old paranormal. Well, you, you're bound to have seen some strange and unusual things. I mean, what I've was what seen would you say, a lot of strange stuff. What would you say when you're in your adult years was your first type of like paranormal experience? Is he trying to remember? Say, um, no. Tien, Tien Holiday Village was one of the big ones. I would say that I went back into into the paranormal as more of a skeptic. I was more of the yeah. Taps era. Do you know when Taps mm-hmm. first came out? I was really yep. into that when they used to do all yep. the debunking stuff. That was the way I went into it. So I was doing a lot of debunking back then, and I'll still debunk a lot of stuff now. But um, that was the way um, I was at Tain. We got right the weirdest thing ever right there was kids mm-hmm. passed away in the pool and there was like a hallway coming out and it was always creepy but there was a puddle and after the puddle was kids wet footprints walking up the hall to the changing rooms and mm-hmm. it was just like there's no way anyone could have recreated that sort of type thing or, or mm-hmm. um i wish i was filming back then like a long time ago, I wish I was filming. I was wait a long time ago, um, which has been really cool. I have had yeah. experiences, and we're talking about Leap before we started there. And I have yeah. had experiences in Leap too. Was one of the one of the main ones, but I still don't think it's the hype. It's not as big as the hype makes out. I th- I think Leap Castle's got a lot of history behind it, and it's yeah, it is an amazing place, and I, I would like to go there one day. But there's also Redwood Castle. I mean, that's that's an interesting castle too. I mean, that's an interesting castle. Do you watch? Um, there's Castle Ross Castle. I've heard that. Yeah. If you ever come to Ireland, you need to hit Ross Castle. Um, it's a bit more of a B and B now, so it is. But that place is one of the most active places I've I've ever been. Do you know what I mean? Bar team. Yeah. Um. So it's. It's spooky. It's real spooky. Yeah, especially if you stay in the keep. Yeah, I, I mean, I will say this right. Going back to Leap Castle, Leap Castle does have a lot of history behind it. What is it? What's that room that it's got? What's what's that that special room that used to put torture people? That used to put them. I keep Jenny. You'll, you'll give me a row for this. Oh, uh, that, um, is it the Jubilee? Something, something late. Aye, that's the Jubilee. Yeah. Aye, that, up that's in the really chapel. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the really skeletons, the dug all, left all the skeletons out of it. Yeah, I know. Well, that's I where know. I had my ex- I mean, that's where I had my experience up there. But it's the bloody chapel is active, hundred yes. percent active. So it is, especially the, as you say, the history, the stuff that's happened up there, and the betrayal and, and just the mad oh, stuff yeah. that's going on in that room. But I mean, the rest I of mean, the place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ireland is. I mean, a lot of people think Scotland, where its castles, is old. But a lot of people don't realise that Ireland has a lot older castles than Scotland. People don't mm. realise that. 
And I, bad news, there's a castle just down the road from me down there that's it was built in 1375 or something like that. And then there's a church next to me that was built in 1110, right? But what people don't realise that if you go to Ireland, you'll get a lot older. You'll get a lot older oh, in Ireland than here. And there's some Ireland, of the, was it the... Where you go? Go ahead, sorry. No, 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 I was just going to say, some is it, is it the, the first Presbyterian church and always here and stuff? It's like the so old, yeah, like so. really old stuff. Yeah, it's just it's mad. But... I mean, what interests me to about Ireland is it obviously you've had the famine, you had the Irish famine, and that was an interesting backstory. And then you've got like, the, the Battle of the Boyne, which was even more interesting. I mean, the history in Ireland alone is really really interesting but could you tell it's us mad. what about what's your best piece of evidence you've ever got now you're talking <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now we're going through things here this is what idea i put you off it then oh he does this all the time what's him saying <sighs> Like what is classed as the best? Because obviously you get like EVPs. No, um, what's your best EVP? Uh, the Grail in the Governor's House, I would say, mm-hmm. is one of the best ones. That wasn't that long ago, in all fairness. So that's the one that's on top of my mind. Where that was the um, the the guy had a plantation in America, and he moved over here, and he brought slaves, and he brought stones from the plantation and built uh, like a mansion in wow. over here and uh we we get definitely got affected in that place big time but i heard a noise in this room and then i turned around and there was this big almighty growl which is so loud on the camera it's actually really like i, I can't even explain it and i don't know what else could i do a lot of i would recreate recreate a lot of stuff as in i would try and um if I catch up try and do it again to see if it's if it's not you know, not paranormal, do you know what I mean? Type of thing. Do you want mm. to see if I can do it? Like I have a really mad picture, I actually should send you so I should, of a girl in a white mm-hmm. dress in um from yeah. a school in the Falls Road in Belfast. And it was caught on May Day, and that's the day that all the all the girls had to wear white dresses to school. That's right. So it was, right? And it was yeah. time I worked. Um, I was with, working with Most Haunted back then, and I was trying to find locations. So I was taking videos and pictures with mm-hmm. no one. Everyone was in the in the base, so I was taking, making sure there's no one in the pictures doing all this here. And mm-hmm. it looks like a black figure, like shadow figure, like with a a, a wee girl in a white dress on there. It looks like a dad and a, and a daughter or something like that there. The, the way the picture looks to me i would love um, to see that i'll send yeah yeah i i i opened up anyone i said anyone if anyone de- can debunk this debunk it i actually went back a year later on may day and the same time of the day the lights and all the sun shining in and all that stuff and tried to do recreate the same pictures and i could i could never get the same thing not even close to it uh, that guy there wanted to be called Delta. What's that? The house with the cat. Why is it sometimes the reading? Read this is really small. The that's, the, <laughs> that's the that's the that's Irish conjuring house. Is that what that is? Mm. I didn't get Ireland had yeah. a conjuring house. I didn't get Ireland. Well, it's, Ireland it's called it's called house. it's the cursed it's the cursed house. The 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 right. people in the house have got like the guy shot himself in the front room. Um, one of the yeah. kids lost an eye. One of them drowned. I think there's a load of other stuff, like the mad stuff that happened, but we find a mummified cat in the house. Mm. When obviously when houses are cursed, they would obviously use mummified oh, cat, animals, right. cats and stuff and all to try and protect the building. Do you, um, do you know that is so strange you mentioned that? Because we actually had Leonard Law on the show and he, he in Scotland he talks about the, the witch trials and how they used to, a lot of houses in Scotland that has been renovated that they've found like mummified cats usually yeah. at the front door of the houses under the floorboards um we done a nightclub which is random years ago and it, it had when they were renovating the, the natural nightclub they found the cats they found black candles all bricked into the walls so they did and they had 
mummified. I don't, I don't understand this one, but like mummified like mice, which I've never heard of. Well, I don't know if that was just a. Uh, Maybe they've went. I don't know. This is what they died. Yeah, Man, that's what I'm cats. wondering. Yeah, yeah, something mm. like that. But it's just random. So it was. So that's I never got any really more. Interesting. Isn't it? I, mean, I would love to know it's... why they done it back then in that nightclub. I'd love to know because we never the person who showed us around didn't know anything to do with the history and we could never find nothing because it was what just was the a nightclub. Night <laughs> what was the nightclub before it was a nightclub? Oh. oh it was a bar and it was used in some loyalist killings. Right. I know that, but did it have a house above it? Did it have a house? Did it have that's what people, I want. It's about stay... six stories high, so it could have done, yeah. yeah. It probably did because I know with Leonard Lowe, he told me that they would put like a, a mummified cat eh, under the front door and under the back door eh, of the premises to stop the, 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 the curses and the evil crossing the door. So yeah. I bet you if you to lift the back door floorboards, maybe one there was there. another mummified, yeah. Yeah, it makes you wonder. See what you're saying, actually, and actually, what you're saying actually makes total sense because that cursed house and um we're talking about there the mummified cat was found upstairs right but yeah right at the back door someone had pulled the panels off the back door um mm -hmm. like beside like on the wall pulled the panels off mm -hmm. and we were just wondering if like some other animals maybe dragged it upstairs or someone's moved it or something like that because it looked like it was something was hidden behind these panels there was like a panels and there was a gap behind it like something was set in it but someone, someone's ripped it out. See, that's see, that's interesting. And you see, it, it belonged to is it, what was it you said it was belong? It belonged to again. Is it United Irishman you said there? I mean, oh, the people. Yeah, it could have been used to hide stuff. I mean, like you don't well, know. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe people that's have it, thought, yeah. oh, they found all this stuff. Maybe there's an old antique gun or something, and they're maybe and looking for well, something. This, um the cursed house we're talking about obviously it was a sergeant or something killed himself at the front mm -hmm. in the front room um yeah. so there there was lots of random stuff oh there was a uh, what was there my head's gone now that's where i seen the two legs too it was random the two legs oh, yeah do tell I, I hear, <laughs> tell me to, no this is this is i kid you not i don't know if anyone else has the same flipping phenomena right it's the shit that happens to me Sorry, can I swear? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. When I've I've seen up loads of apparitions like in the in the day, like, but I seem to see a lot with just legs. Does mm -hmm. that sound weird? <laughs> I don't I don't know why. It's only like I I became walking along and you'll see two legs walking towards you, or you'll see the the in the the cursed house was the two legs running along and round the corner. And they're clear. It doesn't even look like they're wearing trousers. It looks like the skin, which is really weird. It's interesting you say that. It's interesting you say that because I I've seen spirits in this house that I'm in. Well, only one because there is only one. But I sometimes only see the top half of him. I never see the bottom half. Dakota, I wonder why I've ever seen one instance where I've seen just the legs walking in. That was out of a old factory where obviously there's been plenty of accidents so that's mm. here in the states see that's interesting i've heard people telling me i have heard people telling me that i know people in my village that live in really old houses for the 13th 14th century and they've told me they've seen little legs walking up the stairs just a set of legs walking up the stairs and it makes you wonder what Maybe they didn't have enough energy and maybe they could only really show their legs. What's that there? The son of the naked Bigfoot, uh, Pete's in the chat there. Good to see you, Pete. In the mountain here, in the mountains here, the practice of putting chicken feet in the walls to ward off the home at the time of its building, also washing the foundation stones in pig's blood before placing them. I've never heard that before. That, and you wonder yeah, why you got weird, weird shit going on, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pete's Pete's well known. His dad was uh, so, uh, the naked Bigfoot, one of the greatest paranormal people I know. Um, 
but the, the things that happen in his farm is crazy. I mean, crazy. But it's it's it, it's true because also, did you know, Neil, that for like houses that were cursed, they would put like a vase in the walls. A lot of houses that say they ward off evil, they would get a vase, yeah. and they would brick it behind the wall, usually in front of, near the the exit of the house. So I bet you, if you to go back there and have a look round about, you would might find a vase. What would be in the vase? The to quote, "I was in the vase again." He never really said that. He? he said, "Oh, what is it?" He said, "They put they put in it. They put like stuff in it to like ward off." Was it bones? Was it bones? I think it was Blue bones. Bones were part of it. Chicken bones, I think, was some of them. Pete again, wow. I think. I and sometimes they used to get a piece of paper. In the olden days, they didn't use paper. They used like human skin and stuff like that, or skin or hide from a an animal, and they would write yeah. down the spell incantation to stop the evil. For coming in the house and then they would shove it inside the vase and brick it up in the wall. You see a lot of houses here in Scotland, and I know people round about me that have been renovating their houses from let's say the 13, 1400s. They've came across these vases, one at the front, one at the back. You leave them there. You never have you can take them if your house is getting renovated. He that Leonard Lowe's got quite a few of them that he's found. And it's an interesting That's thing. Class. Superstition, it's superstition. You know, it's the ward off evil. You know? Who comes up so with this stuff? About... <laughs> right. it, it, it makes who comes wonder, up with it? all this stuff? It, 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 that is the crazy thing. That is the crazy thing. Who comes up with this stuff? But you who comes up with a stick of cat in the wall here or a stick of fires in the wall and it's going to help? I know, right? Nowadays, I'll get one... you locked in a mental asylum. Well, it's weird to say <laughs> that. It's weird. I have seen the, the mummified cats. I used to look after uh, carpet bowls, you know, the kind of carpet bowls that people play. And there was an old building from 1783, something like that, that was built. And when the place was getting renovated, they lifted the oak floorboards up and there was a cat right at the front door. And I always wondered what that was, but then when Leonard Lowe told me, it was obviously a ward off evil, you know? And it, I need to go back and watch this episode because he sounds like pretty cool. All oh, this stuff. Yeah. yeah. If you I want to go back and watch that, your shows, I can put a good word in for you. Yeah, you need to watch. You need to watch. I'll send it to you after the show. Sounds pretty but, cool. What's that? As Pete's just said something there, I've never understood. I've never understood the cat thing, but I've seen stranger things. Yes, you definitely have, Pete. You definitely <laughs> have. Yeah, chicken feet. Ones... Yeah, I've heard you know, cats and the, and the like a boy. Between worlds, but it's like, uh, where do you? Okay, I'm cats. gonna put the kitty in the wall. If that's your keep the scary goes away. I don't know. But if you really think <laughs> about it, cats, I, you know why they use cats, don't you? Come on, why you know why they use cats to go? Come on, the ancient pyramids. What did they have in there? Mummified cats. Oh. And cats, cats are the sign of the spirit world, and they're used as like protectors. The spirit world. So obviously the cats represent like a guardian to that property. So that's what that is. That is interesting. Dakota's got loads of wee cats running around about the news. Actually, quite a few cats. Hence nibbling on his wires. <laughs> What's the fucking joke, dude? I had to replace the damn mic cord. See, <laughs> see, blame the cats. Oh. <laughs> But anyway, do tell us about your car, ladies and gentlemen. He's, a, he's got a very interesting car before we jump onto your UFO experience. Can you can you tell us a little bit about your car? Me? Yes. Yeah. I don't have a car. Your car. My car? Oh, I don't have a yeah, car. Yet. Car! <laughs> So I think it was the <laughs> We've had this talk. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that car buried in the wall? <laughs> aye, aye, there's a Bugatti Veyron in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the car, the car. Right, so, nah. listening house. I was at listening house about maybe about 
fucking five, six years ago. Um, yeah. Amazing place, amazing location. I had a lot of activity in there. And when we left, um, we were driving along, turned my head, and there was a, a guy with a top hat sitting really straight up, um, sitting yeah. in the in the back passenger seat where he was. Obviously startled us. And um, we asked him to leave, and we asked him, like, you're not you're not wanting to go back to where you come from and stuff and yeah to this day he's still here and i don't know because i've never been back to listen house if he wants to go back but plenty of people have seen him and it's got this stage where he's he seems like a really nice guy because even my partner yeah. would get anxious driving so she would talk to she would talk to him she'd be go off in the drive on her own and she, and she feels way more comfortable and relaxed because he's he's there chilling do you know what I mean? And people drove past me going, I didn't realize you're picking people up. And I was like, I haven't picked anyone up. And I was like, there's a guy sitting in your back seat. And I was like, oh, no, that's not. That's that's a guy from listening house. So it is. Um, There's a few, there's a medium told me, I think his name was Richard. Now, that yeah. was a couple of years ago. And I can't, I have to fucking go back because I, I was actually saying to Joanne, I said, I need to find out actually what his actual name is, if it is Richard or not. Um, But I don't really interact with him. I just get yeah. in the car. If he's there, he's there. And if he's not, he's not. And I just I just carry on driving. Um, I, as I say, my partner would speak to him. Out of curiosity, when he goes for its MOT, does the mechanic or anything ever say anything? <laughs> <laughs> do, you want, do, you want to hear, do you want the weird thing is, right, which is shows how much intelligence it must have, right? Because yeah. it was in it was in the the rear passenger seat, right? Yeah. And when we had our son, the, he had to go in that seat in the car seat and it moved from the passenger or over the passenger side over to behind me, the driver's side. So he was behind me now, so he is, mm-hmm. which is absolutely random. But I don't no. think he, 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 I've never seen him in the house. So I don't know if he comes into the house or not. Do you know what I mean? He might be, but he's always in the car. You always see him in the car and it, it you never see him in the house. It, it makes you wonder if MD, do you park your car in the street or do you park in the drive? It makes you wonder in the drive. Past, it, sees a, it sees this guy with a top part on sitting in your seat. Well, that, that's it. Do you mean, like, we, we, we can walk past the, the window in the living room and we can see someone sitting in the seat. We just always just go and we just go, someone sitting there and go, oh, fuck, it's, it's your man. So it is. But like, you're not many places. Like, I used to protect myself all the time and now I haven't protected myself in years. And I think I've got less. Like activity, and I don't know if it's because of him mm. maybe blocking it. I don't know because already had, as I said before, like before start the show, um, he I haven't had much attachment since he's been in the car. Do you know what I mean? I haven't had really. Whereas yeah. before, it was constant activity. There was constant things going on. Where since yeah. he's been here, hasn't I don't know. If he's like a bit of a protector too, or something, or just looking out I mean, for us, or what? He may just like the the comfy seats and the the velour. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> what kind of car is it? It's like it just. <laughs> don't, I got freaked out. You no, know, the weird thing is, I've changed cars yeah. like three times, yeah. oh. and he's been in every car. Now that's yeah, why I can't understand. So to, to the me, I think he's actually probably attached to me or something. But he only shows himself in the car or something. Which I'm happy enough, like, I am happy enough, but I wonder if one day I go back to Listen House, would things change? See, it makes you wonder, maybe he's waiting for you to take him home. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's waiting for... he's made... maybe he thought I was just going for a wee drive. <laughs> it's been years later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, going me for home. a wee drive, I'll be back in an hour to his wife, I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting out missing reports. (laughs) There's missing reports going out for him. I know, I know. It's it's weird. I mean, I've heard the like ghost hitchhikers, and I've heard the like. Oh yeah. We have that right our way. Yeah. Well, could you tell us? Did you tell us about about that? So it's up. Um, the new line is called, and there's um a lady in white been seen for years. I mean, she's up and down road. People stop. People stop to go and pick her up, and she disappear just disappears because you're like, why, why is she on the road? She just keeps vanishing. But I actually have a story on that road with myself 
Um, Do tell. Back in the back in the day, I used to have a wee scooter when I was like 16, 17. and um, I used to go to work at five in the morning. So I used to I had to mm. go that road every morning. So it was really bad mm-hmm. weather, really thick fog. I had the Pfizer up because I couldn't see him. And I was just driving along the road. And next minute, this almighty scream, like the loudest scream I've ever heard in my life, just fucking screamed. And I just fucking just was like, wee! <laughs> just, I crapped myself. I crapped myself. I, was like, I wasn't going for work. I wasn't going to work the next day because I was like, I'm not driving up that road on a scooter. Yeah. Going for this exp- this thing here it terrified me. Now, obviously, we have the banjee and stuff and all. So I oh, don't yeah. know if it was that or it was the woman or it was something like an animal, but it was loud. It was like a, to yeah. me, it was like a woman screaming as loud as possible on the road. And it terrified Hello, me. Louise. Yeah. The Saint Louise from uh, Emerald Isles Paranormal and the old ah. chat there. Yeah, drinking shots. Um, again. Wait, could I say it was the moped uh, 50cc? I was 100 cc. I was was everyone else had everyone else, this... everyone else everyone else had a, had a 50 and I was like nah I need to have a hundred <laughs> yeah, there you go so it's not to 60 in three minutes then <laughs> I, I know I got I know I got hijacked in that thing too it terrifying wow mm-hmm. it's, it's 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 interesting because there's a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of roads that are haunted and I know in the United States there's a lot of haunted roads especially we in have Scotland the... I can't when you go man no, sorry. We have the the most haunted road in the UK, sure. Um, beside Lady, beside Lady Dixon's Park in Lisburn, that. that's meant to be mm-hmm. the most haunted road in the UK. Um, we investigated it. Me and Gary investigated it. I don't know six seven months ago. The road itself, we never really got much activity, but the actual park beside it. Um, I was walking along and I looked up and there was this tree, and I went. I don't know what came. Just when you see these things flash in your head, the flash just mm-hmm. went. That looks the kind of tree that people would hang themselves or people could be hung on. Do you know what I mean? That was just what came through me randomly. Yep. But I was filming at the time. And when I was editing the video, came back, it was exactly just after I said that, there was a, a mighty, there was a noise of someone choking. We caught on tape. Wow. Ooh. It's on my, ch- it's on my channel. You can hear them actually like gar- gargling to... for breaths. Of the- yeah. So it's actually, I've got it on the YouTube channel. And I'll need to check that out that's uh, that, check out. that was yeah that was probably yeah. actually thinking about it that was a probably really freaky evp suppose like then yeah, do you know what i mean oh yeah forgot about that one i forgot about that one this is the thing is you're constantly out filming yeah. every week you're hitting so yeah. many places and stuff sometimes it's hard to remember all your experiences yeah. and personal experiences and stuff and all if you to go, if you to go anywhere in, uh, say, Ireland, where would your top place be? Do you know what? It's gone now, but it'll still be Tian, Tian Holiday Village. They've knocked I've it down, and they're putting, they're, they're, put, they're putting houses on it. And that place was active, as I said, the kids' footprints. We had me pushed against the wall not pushed against the wall there's this big black mist came at us yeah there was that thing crawling up the wall whatever that was the it was just yeah. constant constant stuff going on in that that building so it was Seems like has the cat been nibbling <laughs> uh, the, the cats are freaking out because it's too damn quiet in the house with everybody else gone mm. see if you to anywhere in the world right now, if you had to go anywhere in the world, everything was paid for you, no expenses spared, yeah. where would it be? You're allowed one place. Probably one place. See, I, I love prisons. I'm addicted. To, I, right. I love prisons. Mm-hmm. So I probably want to do Alcatraz will be one yeah. of the top ones, definitely. Um, I'm actually looking at the moment at going to Penhurst. Is it? No, I Penhurst in that? Yeah. That's um, yeah, that's yeah. An so there's there's, to there's quite a few places at the minute I'm looking at, um. But yeah, that's probably one of the big ones is Alcatraz. I would love to actually do because I just love the history. I love pre- I just love prison. I don't know why. I just love and I would, like the, if it's the same as the jail. working prison, we could have got you in there for free. 
Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> like the jail in Belfast, the Cromwell jail. Yeah. The activity in that place, yeah. in the B wing, that you're not even allowed in anymore. They've they've, they've done all the C wing up, big fancy C wing, but B wing, that's the sex wing. That place is active. That place is one of the most. Do you want, when you're be every the location and you just are just hit with a load of energy, and I mean just yeah. you just you just feel emotions, you just feel everything. It's just a wave mm-hmm. of this intense, mm-hmm. intense. Like there's people swaying because they, they felt like they were getting hung, they felt like they were hanging, and the guy hung himself at the end um, cell. There's the fag burns. There's a girl got a fag burning in her thigh, so she did. Mm-hmm. There was people throwing up. There was. Like it was just constant energy. I was that B Wing Cromwell Jail. I would yeah. love another night. I would love to name. do that again. I've heard the name. I've, I've heard people talking about it. But they don't do that stuff. They don't do private stuff anymore. And if I do private stuff, it's silly money. Everything's big money over here. I know. I know. Like I was look, really looking cool. at looking at prices in America. Some of the lo- in some of the big locations in America, and they're like. Hundred dollars, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some places, one place yeah. there's forty dollars. Forty dollars. If we see, had them over here, to... you're talking a thousand quid, easy. See, if not I more. Know. I mean, I would love to do is at Waverly Hills Sanatorium. I think that's that another one I was looking just... at. Yeah, that place just intrigues yeah. me. Yeah, that place. Yeah. Is stupid. Well, I'm going to let my co-host here ask you some questions now because I've talked enough tonight. All right, have you? <laughs> I've done nothing. You shut up, man. <laughs> so, after your last chat on with Emerald Isle, I hear a rumor that you've had quite an interesting possible UFO experience. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, I, I don't know. It was Chris that said he reckons it was to, to do with UFO stuff. It was by the time, skip in time. Worst resource to trust. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> skip in time, the weird dreams. But... Mm-hmm. um. I have something else that I, I said at the beginning of the show that I wanted to ask you a question about. So it was like, do you like deja vu? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Could that be connected to alien GFOs, all that stuff? Because like, what I mean by that now is, what well, how do you say it? Like, telling the future. or like, but Say, for example, I can walk into, I can go into a new town I've never been to before in my life. And I can tell you there's going to be a red car driving around that road. There's a chippy around there. There's this or that. I seem to have these flashes that I've been there before. I've, I I know exactly what's going to happen. I can see like there's a person going to walk out that shop. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. And it happens quite a lot. It's happened to quite a lot in my life. So it has. Now, I did mention about the time, missing time. Obviously, we're on the certain roads in Northern Ireland. And my friend Carl from Dark Arts, he experienced some mad stuff too. He did. He had time missing. He had weird lights in front of his car, spinning and stuff and all, and doing weird stuff. But um, I've experienced stuff like that in the past, but like um, weird gaps in times and all when I've been traveling and stuff. So I don't know if it is it all connected or is it just two all different things. I don't. I don't know much about UFO stuff. So I'm just. I'm more interested in what you can tell me. <laughs> And really depends on the situation, but yeah, it c- could be connected. So why would that happen? Why would you have that? Why would they do that? If you know what I mean? Well, when it comes to how these beings are, obviously with the big, allegedly in quotations, for them... What we consider psychic ability is every day, and if you have had some sort of experience, dealing with that energy could awaken something. And that's why you get targeted, right? So, like for like stuff like we've walked into forests, and literally, I've looked at my phone, and I went right was half an hour here, forty minutes here, and I've done. In my head, it's 40 minutes. It's easy. Like I keep looking at the time, 40 minutes. Then next minute, five hours. It's just vanished. And we're like, oh, how, yeah. how does that work out? We're, we're literally, do you know what I mean? Say, for example, we're going to do the essence method. It takes 10 minutes to do the essence method, 15 minutes to do the essence method. 
and we'll look at the time, be 11 o'clock. We'll come out of the forest after the SS method and it'll be from two, three in the morning. It'll just, ours just disappear. So it would, this is the, this, this is random stuff that happens to me. And I've, I've talked about it before to other people saying like, where did that time go? Where did this disappear to? Um, but it really just, it's weird. That is weird. I don't know. I don't That's... know. I don't know what can explain it. That's weird, Dakota, isn't it? I mean, Dakota's the man for the, that. What do you think, man? It's a little bit, but do you happen to recall anything else happening during these sessions? No. It's, do, you want, do you want weird things? The weird dreams after, but like you'd have weird dreams, like like the door frame would be like warping. So it would, so you have the door. You'd be like, sitting here, and the door will be warping. Everything would be like near enough, like maybe like an acid trip or something, the things would be all, like, normal things would just be, I don't know, flexible, they'd be move, move, move all, they're all... Aye, like, moving yeah. like paint, yeah, as if they're melting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit like that, like, man. And obviously, I told you before, I've had that um, sleep paralysis type stuff and all, and being pinned to the bed and stuff back in the day, like, but that's that did scare me, in all fairness, that one. You're sitting screaming, and no one can hear you. No. That's scary. Yeah. Have you experienced any of this stuff yourself? (laughs) (laughs) That's a yes. 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 yes, The crafts, when they go to interact like that, it can cause both spatial and temporal distortion. It can mess with time, like make it run slower, make it run faster. There's points where I swear I remember flying through my own ceiling and one of my cats, they have scratched up the wall at the exact spot I remember flying out of. Like, they're trying to figure out how the hell I did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Well, yeah. mm, that's coming for you. <laughs> but why are why they coming? Like, why don't we get it? Like, obviously this must happen to a lot of people. Because you're special. It happens I mean, to people with a certain. I've found that I've noticed watching Dakota and watching the people that he interviews and the people that he talks about. It seems to only happen to people that are. What would you say, Dakota? Are, like, are, their minds are like no clairvoyant. It does happen to people with like, abilities. I've noticed that. This is if whoever they are. That more often the... well, are here. Are not not a question. This one, ask you. Are a lot of these people neo-diverse? Quite a few of them. Yeah. Because I think having stuff, because I've got autism, so like having that kind Mm -hmm. of stuff is more of a, as like a superpower, because we we pick up things, we see things, we hear things way more than what a normal normal person. And I think that is definitely Mm -hmm. something. There's some connection to the spiritual world. I don't know if the, the aliens too or whatnot. But I definitely think there is some something there, like certain gray species, their behavior actually the ones that hang on now. Obviously, there's gonna be people that say, Don't talk about the gray, they're all the evil. Blah, blah, blah. That's not the fucking case. But <laughs> yeah, some of them are right. there's certain species of grace, their behavior is actually a lot like people with autism. But to them, that's just you know their yeah. every day. But out of but one question I have for you, because it this seems to be fairly common. It's not true in all cases, but like say a good sixty percent if you were to slap a number on it. What's your blood type? Good question. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know. Good question. I I could better find that just in case I have an emergency sometime. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I've never, I've never asked. The next time you meet your doctor, just ask him. I will. I'm going to ask. So, what are you going to? What's the point with the the blood? Is it for all some the same? reason? There's a couple different theories out there. Some say it's connected to like ancient Anunnaki things like that. And for those who watch the show, I'm keeping it vague for a reason. But for some reason, O negative blood types tend to be more 
targeted by these things. Okay. That's interesting. I'll definitely try and find out then. So, well, um, that's interesting. So, yeah. if you're saying the greys are basically, they're like, they have sort of like autistic traits sort of type thing, basically. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So, is there a chance that they're What's the chances of like Neil the first people being greys? <laughs> and they're just not awakened yet? Is that just too extreme? <laughs> well, tell you kind of a personal <laughs> story from my family. I didn't know this until later in life because I've been estranged from most of my father's side of the family for a number of different reasons, but apparently my father's mother, when I first found out about her, they would tell me that, oh, she can talk to angels. And I was like, okay, I got a crazy grandma. So I was also told that she was diagnosed schizophrenic at one point, whether or not that's true, mm -hmm. I don't know. But then I also found out that this same grandmother was apparently abducted, had her eggs harvested for hybridization. And because the babies had issues and they were needing mother's milk, they kept abducting her so they could harvest it. And I begged them to tell me more information so I didn't have that visual of my grandmother in my head. That's crazy. <laughs> but... It's not just greys. There's several different species out there. They say with like government disclosure and stuff like that, there's at least 100 different, mm -hmm. 150 different species that have interacted with our world throughout our history. Yeah. And some are part grey, part reptilian, part human, part this, part that. That's mad. Mm -hmm. I just, I, it's so interesting. Like, it's so, so, so interesting. Like, the, yeah, the can alien you, stuff definitely. Can you tell us that? See that when Emerald Dale's paranormal researchers, you told us about when you were driving, your car started to like, and you seen them in your. Can you tell oh, us that the story? Light. Yeah, yeah. So, Aye, because I think the quote I was going to find this very interesting. Right, so it's the Spurn Mountains uh, near Cookstown, mm -hmm. um, where it's big UFO flipping place, and we were driving this abandoned pub so we're driving along this country lane and mm -hmm. driving along and the car started slowing down like really slowing down like just like near slowing down to a really crawl pace space pace sorry and then the next minute will just take off again so it did which was really random but the thing is there was two lights which i thought were car lights coming straight at me so there were so i dipped my beams so it then sort of moved in for this car to go past and it just vanished. Mm -hmm. It just like totally dis disappeared. And I was like, but then I said to Carl, who was driving behind me, and I said to him, did you see the two lights, the car coming to like, look at like the two car come towards me? He said, I never seen nothing. In it. And I'm like, you couldn't miss this because they had, they, had, like, they had a full beam on. To me, it was a car with full beam lights. Like mm -hmm. going to get out there driving, and I was mm -hmm. going. Did you see the car slowing, like slowing down? Because I slowed down to like five, nearly five, ten mile an hour. So what did? So and then all of a sudden it just took off really fast again. So what did? And I'm not slow driving, <laughs> but I was just like, I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> um, which was really weird. Like, but then Carl, this road. So for I'm trying to think. So this road meets in a fork. There's a pub. Right, and that's the Derek Pub. So we were on this road here. Or sorry, we're on this road here, and we got to the pub, and Carl a week before was on the road at Forks at the pub. The same. So there's two roads coming off this pub, and he passed the pub a week before, and he had all the experiences. He had this car slowing down. He had he's the one had all the lights, all the weird lights were shining in front of him and started spar his all his lights started spiraling and started going. Your door just opened behind you. Cats. Dakota. That's cat. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting paranormal. <laughs> and um all the lights started spinning and all and started going all like weird and stuff and all. And they probably like 
were freaked out like so they were so it's weird that we've both had similar experiences within a week of each other um, in the same area fork in this pub so i don't know i think aliens are 100 percent here and there's a hundred percent they're bite but i don't know much do you know what i mean they're actually aliens scare me more than ghosts do you think so well, i suppose yeah, there's somebody think... there that look diabolical i mean but they probably no it's not even I don't, I don't know why i think there's there's i've always been scared of aliens but i've never been really scared of ghosts i'd be more i like aliens just terrify me i i can't watch it like a tv show like with, if i watch tv any tv show with aliens in it I'm literally like, terrified for some reason, and I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so. I'm again, I'm like scared, scared. But yeah, I can go and stand in the middle of a room in the most haunted places and anywhere, and it doesn't bother me in the slightest. But then when it comes to dealing with aliens, I'm I'm terrified, and I don't know what is. I don't See, know if I that is found, something. I have found that the extraterrestrials out there. Are interested in the spirit world. They have noticed that. So, see if you've got a really haunted location, there will be sometimes UFOs seen there, and it's, they're either really interested in it or they're waiting there for some weird reason. Have you noticed that, Dakota? That they've got like a weird interest in the paranormal day. Well, the, the Hellfire caves—they're always hanging around there. You see UFOs there all the time. Yeah. The mm -hmm. um. The, the Spurn Mountains are obviously they're, they're there. There's a lot of haunted, there's a lot of abandoned, creepy haunted locations all through them mountains. Um, but yeah, that's weird, man. It, it, it makes you wonder as if they're, they're either waiting for someday to come along and investigate them so as they could take you, which I, I doubt that because they could easily just go to a city or something like that and just take the random person. Get what I mean. I think they're interested in the spirit world as long as we're interested to. What's your thoughts, Dakota? There's an overlap when it comes to spiritual and UFO phenomena, but going to where you mentioned that for some reason alien shows tend to terrify you. Would you knock your shit off, you fucking cat? No. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> It's literally yanking at my cords again. I was like, you motherfucker. Anyway, has there been an incident as a child that roughly this fear started? I'm trying to think, not that I can, not off the top of my head. I can think. I've, I obviously I did run around. Run around some mad places when I was younger, like. Um, I'm just trying to think. Not off the top of my head, I can think. Maybe it'll come to me and feel me in a while or whatnot, but nothing I could think straight off the bat, like. No, usually, when someone has experiences, like, especially the one you're talking about, it wasn't just some first time thing. It's been happening since they were kids. It's just that. For some reason, it gets rep either repressed because it was either too traumatic or they say the ETs are doing something to us that make us forget because it helps them cover that. I mean, yeah. I've, I've always been scared of them, Mike. Now, I mean, I've turned up at a house 30 miles away from where I went to bed one night. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I remember... Do you... No, I don't know. This is probably not connected, but... I, I used to have a reoccurring dream and it used to be in when I used to live in the, one of the first houses like I was a kid um, and it was black and white it was a black and white hammer it used to keep Ooh, going bang 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 so it did and I can't remember what else happened in it but it used to terrify me like I couldn't sleep and stuff and all this was the most terrifying dream i ever had or a nightmare i ever had and i it kept being the exact same thing over and over and over again now obviously i haven't had it since i was a kid like but i remember for a long period um i kept having the same dream there was a stage where like i wasn't even i wasn't actually sleeping in in my mom's house i was sleeping in my nanny's house because i never had the dream in my nanny's house i only have it in 
Alexander. So I would. So is to quote is black and white dreams because I know that I've experienced black and white dreams and I think you've experienced them too is that not like a suppressed memories is that not like something because you've got to remember our little friends up there can ch change they can give you like false well, dreams to make you it is actually I think the number on it in official studies is that they say like 30% of people or something like that have regularly occurring black and white dreams yeah but it is possible for it to be a screen memory. And if it's certain areas where it seems like this particular dream is being triggered, then there could have been something that happened that you just don't remember. Got me thinking now. I think it's going to get hypnotized or something. <laughs> that's what I was just about to say. That's, that's what I was just about to say is you need to get hypnotized and you need to go back. Because I bet oh, you, Jesus. you've got a suppression. You've got something that's happened to you. It makes you wonder when you see that got a lot first of... spirit. It makes you wonder when you seen that first spirit when you were a wee boy. Was that a false dream that they've implanted in you? That was your first time. Because they did it. They've done it to me. They've they've put like weird dreams that shouldn't be. It, it makes you wonder. It does. It's a freaking me out now. Like, cause then there's gaps. Obviously, thinking back, there's gaps in my childhood I don't remember. See, so like the thing is, I'm going to warn I, you I now. Remember? See, I'm going to warn you now that you've got to meet Dakota, right? Maybe not me, but you've got to meet Dakota, and because you we've told you this, now, that may have activated something in you, and you might start remembering things now. Is that oh, right, I've Dakota? Done that. I've yeah. driven plenty of people crazy. There's a couple yep. that are in the chat that could probably validate that. <laughs> yep, there's people in the chat and there it's happened to. You might start having weird dreams now when you go to your bed and oh, you might end up out, no. seeing like a black, black... I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say anything to give you any ideas, but I bet you start having weird dreams now. Do you want to do have? Really I happens. don't know if anyone else has this, if this is normal. But I have, mm -hmm. when I go to sleep, I feel like, I always feel like there's people standing around my bed, like, watching. Mm, and I don't know, I, I yeah, but I, it's like, when I, when I have my eyes closed, I can, do you know what's weird, I can have my eyes closed, I can see them, like they're there, but when I open them, mm -hmm. they're not there. <laughs> that sounds fucking nuts, man. <laughs> but yeah. It's no, to quote, it's I'm not. just going to let you take this one. Well, that's that's it, normal. <laughs> it it happens, and one person that I would recommend you look into, she does actually live out of Ireland, but her name is Elena Denon. She's someone we've had on the show quite a few times, and amazing person. Yes, her stories are out there, but I've seen way too much weird shit happen with this woman mm -hmm. to really doubt her legitimacy. I need to look into it. I need to go and look her up. Actually, yeah, I, got I know plenty of books out there. She does regular videos. Actually, I need to freaking get a hold of her so we can get her back on here soon. Hey, Jenny. Emerald Dials, Paranormal Researchers. Good to see you. Um, hey. You know something? Maybe at least, I, actually, I could introduce you to somebody that might be able to help you too. Her name is Lisa Fry, and she's a medium psychic medium but she also does channeling for her friends up there um and she does a lot of uh, like helps people get and remember stuff and that so i'll give you after the show details and just say i sent you <laughs> it's like um, uh, and, uh, the way you're saying there the medium channel and stuff and all um what is it uh i remember i went to someone like that before like that and uh they put me in like a weird trance type thing and mm -hmm. i actually cried after it which was really weird but it was like um i was walking through this greenery so it was and there was um like mm -hmm. a african woman who was guiding me and she was guiding me down this lane and it was all green greenery all over the show and like do you know what I mean? 
trees and stuff and all and she guided me right down and then she put me on a wee boat and stuff and all and then took me out to this lake and stuff and i don't know it was my sp- i don't know if it was my spirit guide or something else but that's when the only type of channel and type of stuff like the dealing with that mm-hmm. kind of stuff that experience i got then and that was a weird one because i got really emotional after like it was like really yeah. oh yeah freaky yeah it's I, i'm going to say this i bet i bet you did experience something this week or next week you uh, because you've made the quota new and because he's maybe he's maybe triggered something honestly i don't think bad's going to answer you but i, I think you're just going to start remembering things we things and then well, i'm going to sweat i'm going to switzerland on monday so any weird stuff Ooh. happens in switzerland yeah. you're a bit in switzerland are you going geneva Ooh. oh geneva so um mm. god knows hopefully nothing spooky too bad nothing nothing <laughs> like i'm bringing my i'm bringing my camera just in case but which is <laughs> it's for a it's just for my holiday so it is Oh well, oh well. It's for my fortieth. So, before the end of the show, can you tell everybody where um people can find you? We've got the link on the show tonight, but also Dakota's been sharing your show out. Where can we all find you? It's basically YouTube. Um yeah. I am on TikTok and Instagram, but I'm not great on the socials. I really need to push them, so I do. Um but it's all under Saws Lost Souls. So it is. Okay. Um but YouTube, um, I'm 40 on the 11th of April. So I'm trying to get the 4,000 oh. subs for, for, for the 11th of April, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Mm. <laughs> so we go, we go, we go. Downhill. It's all downhill when you turn 40. I'm 42. Oh, don't, don't tell me that. That's scary. <laughs> I'm scared as it is. I'm terrified. Don't worry, get you to get to... closer to God. Well, <laughs> well, there is one other thing in regards to ufo experiences one of the guys in the chats dots mc he re- recommended a recall course that i actually personally took and helped a lot and i met the guy that organized it one thing he told me was that when he and i first met he was very surprised to find out how old i was because it's usually people in their 40s that first start awakening to the fact that oh shit aliens have been screwing with me all my life yeah. So you're coming of age, man. Yep. That's um. happening. <laughs> Don't you worry. You're going to go to sleep in that hotel room. There's got to be big light lights. Everything's quiet. See, that, well, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be messaging you going, this is going on. <laughs> You'll see the big guy standing. We're here to take you to the spaceship. <laughs> I've got I've got a fucking trip to the fucking ice glacier. You have to wait. <laughs> oh no, they'll know they'll just freeze time and take you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it, 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 they won't wait for you to get back from vacation. Trust me. I went to Florida to attend a conference and I remember flying along in the sky looking at the people in the conference and somebody actually caught video of the opposite perspective of a craft in the sky. And I'm just like, yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Why is America worse ship... for for UFO stuff? Why is there so much more sightings and more things happen in America? Because I'm a bit worried because I'm going to America, so I am this year, and obviously I'm I'm traveling through like 18 different states, so I'm a bit. <laughs> I'm like, oh Jesus, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Me get abducted in in America. You'll be fine. Tell them you know me. Uh, they'll, they'll bring you back. And put you in the airlock. The car just hovering in the air. Look, <laughs> up me. Yep. You're yeah. in for a treat. So, Neil, I would like to say thank you very much for coming on the show. And we'll no, need to get you back. Thank you for inviting so, me on. I ah, appreciate it. And uh, if, it was, if it wasn't for Emerald Dale's par- paranormal researchers, Jenny, there in the chat, I wouldn't have got to meet you, so... Thank you very much, Jenny, in the chat. Well, nice meeting you. Um, yep. Mm-hmm. And so we'll talk to you once the show's finished. But everybody, have a fantastic night. Um, and we'll see you all soon. Catch you later.